only way he can get the claw in tight. And once he gets it in, it's a good option. If I can get a claw right here, it's a good option to beat that tripod because I can pull him back into me, which is kind of how you need to beat it more than drive in or circle behind him. So, and if you ever, I got this from Kendall Cross and a few other guys, but and it's, it takes a little bit of athleticism to get it first, but guys, I'm telling you, once you get it, I'm not a very good athlete, but I got a good feel for rolling. Once you get it down, it's real effective. It's real similar to that cross foot hook. And I'll show you real quick. So, now I'll get it. he drops to his knee and goes claw. As soon as I feel him drop to that knee, I'm gonna hook right on the outside of his leg. And for right now, I'm gonna let you jump in cartwheel in a minute. I'm gonna kick my inside leg up and step over. So as soon as he goes to claw, the claw goes in, I'm gonna hook outside, I'm gonna kick this leg up, and I'm just gonna hop over. Where did my chest point the whole time? Down. 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 And my chest points up, he'll just pop me through and take me back to my base. And then I'm flat with a claw in, and that's no fun. So for right now, the drill is knee goes down, hook it, leg up, hop, 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 over the top. Boom, belly splash off. Once you get the hang of that, I'll let you start cartwheeling over, and then it gets real effective. And then you can actually start doing where you clamp down on the arm and cartwheel over. But then you, you got to be a pretty special athlete. Charlie B. Nickerson. I'm going to teach you that. Go! Jump over to get a little more explosive. And it gets pretty good. Um, some guys have a natural good feel for this. Kim Cross do it from everywhere. We got a seventh grader that's got unbelievable hips. He does it from everywhere. You just get good at stepping over those guys when he drops it. Ben Ashburn, who's got the funkiest hips I've ever wrestled, would do it on the mat. You'd come out and run a spiral on him, or he's just wrestling, he'd hook it over. And he'd make it look stupid doing it right there a bunch too. So get a little more pop in it. He circles out. He drops that knee. That's, that's my good sign. <laughs> I'm better up in there to get that car in. It helps if you post your forehead on the mat. It'll give you a little more whip over. Just kind of get a feel for how you like to do it. Some guys are really going to kick hard. Some guys are going to do a little bit more of a hop. Start playing around with it. Go! Yeah. You don't want to do it. <laughs> Sure, he's a beast. I said, you're. <laughs> 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 <laughs>